Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about percentages, especially when it comes to ammunition and the firearm themselves to see if it really does make any difference, uh, whether it's a heavier weight or faster velocity or whatever it is. So come back in a moment, folks. We'll talk about these two rifles and get to shooting. Two rifles I have here on my right is my 243 uh, in an AR-15 platform. One on the left here is an AR-10 in a 6.5 Creedmoor platform. Now, percentage-wise, this rifle weighs right at 10 pounds. This rifle weighs right at 14 and a half pounds. It's got a heavier barrel. Both of them, well, one's 22 inch and the AR-15 is 24 inch. But we're going to be shooting at a target up there. I hope you can see it. Only about 90 yards today because there's other people shooting here today and I don't can't get to the longer distance without infringing upon their shooting and I won't do it. But does a 40% heavier bullet make any difference when it comes to varmint hunting? or anything with inside of 400 yards. Well, we're gonna to get to shooting and take a look. So let me go turn the cameras on and let's get going first with the two, the 223 and the AR-15 platform. Be right back. All right, well, I guess I should call this a 556, not a 223 because that's what's written on the barrel. It has a one and seven twist. Now, anything lighter than a 55 grain bullet is kind of wonky on it. It'll shoot it, but uh, if you don't feel real comfortable, and I have had a couple of V-Maxes that have exploded in mid-air on the way, once it got over 3,400 feet per second. So I've decided to go ahead and shoot at least a 60 grain or above. Now, a lot of people shoot the heavies, the uh, 75s, the uh, 77s, the uh, 68s. I don't because I have other higher caliber, faster, larger caliber to shoot those bullets quite easily. So I shoot the lighter ones in this. So that's what I'm shooting today. This is the 60 grain VMAX. Now again I was talking about percentages. So this is only a 10 pound rifle and uh, shoots really well. Uh, the charge load is right at 26 grains as opposed to the next rifle that I'll be shooting, which has over 41 grains. So let's go ahead and shoot five shot group. See what happens. Get my parallax correct. Five shots in rapid kind of fashion because that's what this rifle is for, is for faster follow-up shots. So let's just go. Okay, that's five. All right, let's go take a look at that target. Be right back. Well, that was so much fun. I'm going to shoot five more. And the reason why is because we were talking about percentages. So the 223 or 556 compared to the 6.5 Creedmoor cost about exactly half as much to reload and shoot. Oh, that means you get double the amount of shots. That in itself is worth something. Now, the feet per second on these 60 grains, I got it written right on the box here, is 3190. Uh, that's a lot slower than the 55 grain, but not much difference on a ballistics calculator, which I'll show you at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and shoot these next five. See if I can do a 10 shot group for those of you who say that, you know, everything I do is inconclusive. <laughs> All right, 
Let's go check out that 10 shot group. Just for y'all. Be right back. Okay, now it's my 6.5 Creedmoor. This is, a, again, percentage wise, it's a third heavier than the 5.56. This is just slightly under 15 pounds. All right, the bullet that I'm going to be shooting is a 107 grain Sierra tipped Match King. Now, I was shooting a 60 grain, so now I'm shooting 107 grain. Last I checked, my simple math, that's 44% heavier bullet. So will it make a difference? No. According to my box here, like I said, that 60 grain was just under 3,200 feet per second, and the 107 grain is 156 feet per second. But the 107 grain has a lot higher BC. Now, we've talked about BC before. I could care less about it because I shoot less than 400 yards, and BC really only carries anything after that for the time of flight to deflect the wind and maybe be a little bit more uh, aerodynamic. Well, all I care about aerodynamics is if I can hit my whatever I'm shooting at. Okay, so here we go with five shots. It'll be the target on the right. This is a lot nicer rifle. And it is set up accordingly. Get the parallax correct. There we go. All right, five shots. All right, I think you saw that. All right, so do you want me to shoot another five? Ah, oh, what the heck, why not? All right, here we go, same target, five shots. Okay, well, again, I tried to, <laughs> if it was running, oh, it's probably what, two, three, four seconds between each shot. Let's so. go check out the target, and more importantly, back at the barn, let's look at the ballistics calculator to see the actual real world difference in terms of percentages. See you in a while. Okay, you saw the targets. There's nothing really stellar about here. That's an uh, inch and three quarters. That's an inch and a half, maybe close to an inch and three quarters. This is the 223. This is the 65 Creedmoor. But more importantly, let's take a look at the ballistic data here. Okay. Number one is this is the 223 Remington 556, 60 grain bullet, uh, 26 grains of powder, is 37% less than what is the 41 grains that's in the 6.5 Creedmoor. The bullet grain weight is 60 grains versus 107. That's 44% less. Yet, even with that less uh, percentages, the speed on the 60 grain is 3190. The ballistic coefficient is 0.265. Over here on the Creedmoor, you got a speed of 3125 with a ballistic coefficient for that 107 grain of 0.445. That's not too bad. But now take a look at what's important to a hunter. Here at 300 yards, a 10.9 inch drop with 100 yard zero, and the 6.5 Creedmoor has a 9.7 inch drop with 100 yard zero. Practically negligible. So no matter what critter you might be shooting, this is going to have a heck of a lot more energy, as you can see, at 300 yards, 1569, versus energy of 690 on that 60 grain. 
Okay, folks, I hope this uh, kind of helped you with percentages and what's important to a hunter in actual shooting. And it comes down to that energy and that drop, not this stuff that's up here. Okay, so if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, if you will. But no matter what, as usual, God bless you all. See you next time. Goodbye.